Hi, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a really, really long time since I last did a video, but I'm back now. I've just been really busy, like working and yeah, I'm just working. This video that I'm going to be doing is a little different. I just want to put like a little bit of a disclaimer and be like, honestly, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to be talking. You know, I just want to talk about some things that I think are really important and I think that I need to really get off my shoulders, like get off my chest, whatever the saying is. So basically, here I am, just going to be chit-chatting, you know, a little bit of a heart-to-heart. Huh. As I was saying, as young adults, we are the most susceptible to mental health issues. Like it's a very delicate issue and it has so much stigma surrounding it that it's so difficult for people to speak out about it or for people to seek help. And without seeking help from professionals or even just telling a friend or a family member it's really difficult for it to get any better. I think the stigma that surrounds it is really unnecessary but I know it's something that's difficult to erase like it is difficult for people to understand and you know what like I feel like if people don't understand that's kind of a good thing for them because it means they haven't necessarily gone through it which is good. I mean, we don't want people to go through it. You know, if someone understands, then they've been through that situation before. And while it's comforting, it's also very unsettling to know. You know, I think people just need to realise that it takes a lot of effort and a lot of time for someone to live with something that is so consuming. And honestly, like, the reason why they call it a mental health disability is because it is so crippling. It's like the most deadly illness that someone can have because there's no sort of cure for it. There's no correct diagnosis. Every single person's illness is so different that it is so difficult to target a specific thing and make it okay. I mean, I know there are like medication and things like that, but it it doesn't solve the issue. How does someone explain to people that they can't get out of bed or that they're hungry but they, they can't eat because they literally have no appetite, like they can't stomach it? How do you explain that you feel so horrible inside that it affects every single thing that you do? As everyone knows, like the brain is one of the most important organs in our body, you know, other than the heart. And how can something that's not well make everything else function properly. That's why it's so difficult to understand because it's not something you can see that's, it's not something that's black and white, you know, like you've got the disease or you don't have it, like you've got these symptoms, you must have it. Like it's not like that, it's so different. It's just something that I think a lot of people don't really understand and that's okay just don't jump to conclusions you know like give it a chance like try and understand if not for yourself for the sake of the people you love that might be going through it one of the most important things you gotta have is a really good support system surround yourself with people you love and people who love you and people who who exude happiness and joy and people who bring you up rather than bring you down. I just want people to know that there are so many people out there who do understand and who are going through similar things. While I know there is nothing that can possibly cure it, day by day, we kind of learn how to deal with it better. And I think that's the truth, like it never fully goes away. Like you just learn how to live with it and you learn how to deal with it. You learn how to make it into something that makes you stronger as a person. People are like, oh, you know, you can choose to be like this or you can be happy. It's not that simple. Like, I, I really wish it was, but like, while it is to do with, you know, your mindset and the way you think, changing just that is so hard because how do you change something you can't, you just can't control? You can try your best to fight against it every day. But I just really think people need to understand that it's not a choice it's not just black and white it's not as simple as you are or you're not i don't know how long it's gonna take like it can take months a few years maybe more but there's gonna be one day where you're gonna be in a good place even if not a good place at least a better place than the one you're in now i just really want people to hold on to that even if it feels like it's not worth fighting 
for anything right now and it's easier just to give up or that the only way out is to stop fighting and to give up that's not true there's gonna be a day where we're all going to be able to look back on this and think that was the most difficult part of my life but look at where I am now and I wish that for every single person I'm still learning every single day and you know I'm still fighting every single day and I think it's just that you've just got to keep going out there there are gonna be days and there are gonna be times where you feel like you just can't do it anymore and there's gonna be things that happen that knock you all the way back down and you're not going to want to feel like climbing back up but please just, just please do it like even if you feel like no one believes in you i believe in you and i know the people who love you believe in you and even if you don't do it for yourself do it for them i am still learning every single day to do things for myself i'm still learning how to love myself you know i'm still learning and I think that's okay like as long as we're trying you know it's difficult and I think sometimes that we are so focused on things or people that we've lost that we forget to appreciate the people that we've found and the people that have been there supporting us a few months back like even though I lost one of the greatest people and things in my life I've also gained the most amazing people who have literally like been my crutches and been supporting me through this and while it's so difficult to fill that hole like at least I know I have these people who will never leave me no matter what people need to know that it's a process like learning to love yourself and learning to be okay with yourself is such a long process I just want people to know that you are never never too broken or too difficult or too much effort to be loved there is gonna be someone out there who's gonna think the absolute world of you and until then I do I think the absolute world of you. it's okay not to be okay we're all gonna make it even if it's hard every single day you know it may be hard every single day for the rest of your life but at least you made it to the end of it. And I have the most amazing friends and family. Sometimes you lose things and it can be so difficult and we can be so focused on what we've lost. We forget what we have. And I just want everyone to know, never forget what you have. Because while it not be the same, it's still something. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna say for now. Thank you so much for watching. I think it's really important people to ask for help and not be ashamed or not be embarrassed or not be scared the first step to getting better is to acknowledge the fact that you're not okay that's the hardest bit of it all like once you hit rock bottom the only way from there is up and one day I want to be able to stand next to every single one of you and be in such a good place that we're going to be thankful for these things that have tore us down but then we've learned how to become stronger from it. I love you all and just remember even if you feel like you're nothing you are something to someone and I think you're something to me. I'll see you next time. I love you.